All right, so I had a message from someone that said today's hard mathler has really stomped them, so I figured I should probably try it. So let's see, we're trying to find an equation that equals 283. Now remember, in hard mathler, you can use parentheses as well, so that gives us a lot more options for what we can do. Let's see, why 283? So it's a pretty big number, so I'm kind of thinking about maybe like a three-digit Minus a three digit since it's a lower three digit number. It's in the 200s. Maybe we could do a three digit minus. Oh, but then we've got So I'm kind of thinking maybe like a three digit Minus a two digit times a single digit something like that I'm thinking minus because it's a smaller three digit number. It's in the 200s So let's think about a two digit times a single digit that would give us something good to subtract so Maybe something like 12 times 8, which would be 96. So let's see, what's 283 plus 96? That's gonna be that's gonna be 379. So we could do 379. Yeah, that's pretty good. 379 minus 12 times 8. That gives us six unique digits. Let's try that. Okay. Interesting, so there is a subtraction. We've got several of the digits, but none of them are in the right places, so it'd be good to use zero, four, five, and six if we can, just to find out what digits are in the answer. There's no multiplication, so maybe we should try and do some division or addition. What if we did like 200 and something, and then we added and then subtracted. So we could start below 283, add to go above 283, and then subtract to get back down to 283, something like that. So we could maybe subtract like, I mean, if we subtract nine at the end, we'd be at 292. So 200 and something plus something to get to 292 maybe. All right, what about 230 something? Then we could add six, so it's 230 plus 62 minus nine would work. There's no one in there though. We need to have a one. I mean, we could do 231 plus 61. That doesn't let us use a zero. We don't have a zero, four or five in there at all. All right, I'm gonna do 231 plus 61 minus nine. It's not letting us check as many new digits, but we can find out about the operations and see if we're getting close. So I'm gonna go with that. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Interesting. So there is only one one. We're not subtracting a single digit thing. We're not subtracting here, so... I mean, it's possible to do like a four digit minus a three digit but you'd have to subtract quite a bit to get down to 283, but if we were like a thousand and something, and we subtract, you know, maybe even like 900 and some, so we could be at a thousand, uh, but we can't be very big, that's the problem. We'd have to be in the 1200s, or, or one zero, we haven't used a zero yet, it could be a thousand and something, literally. Uh, but if we're subtracting 900, that's the problem. If we're at a thousand, if we're at one zero something, to get to 283, we've got to be subtracting 700 or 800 and something. Because even if we're at 1,099, you're subtracting something in the 800s. And if you're at 1,000 even, you're subtracting something in the 700s. And we can't use a 7 or an 8, so it can't be one zero. We could be in the 1200s, though, and subtract 900 and something, as long as we're below 1283. So 12, you know, 63, for example, minus 900, 980, but we don't have an 8, so we can't do 63. What if we subtract 960? That would be 1243. Let's try that. 1243 minus 960. We have a one, a two, a three. We haven't checked four yet, so that's possible. We've got the subtraction, the nine, the six. We haven't checked zero yet. I think that works. Let's see if that's it. 
Ooh, we're really close. Okay. So we're doing the right thing. It's four digits minus three digits. It's not four. It's gotta be... So 1,200 and what? 30 something? What about... Oh, 12, not 21. 1,239 minus 956. I think that works. I think that gives us everything we need that we know so far. I think that's a good guess. Let's go with that. And that was it. All right, cool. So that was definitely a really hard one this time. Um, so thank you for that suggestion, Toast. And uh, let me know what you thought of this hard math, or did you think it was difficult? I don't know, for some reason having a, only one operation in a hard math alert makes it harder because you're sort of assuming there's gonna be a couple of different operations, maybe the parentheses and stuff. So let me know how you did with this hard math alert and be sure to subscribe for more puzzles.